Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about Grafana and also the Microsoft Azure. So long story short, basically, if, if you are working with Azure and most likely you do if you're watching this video, so you do know that there is such thing as an Azure monitor, which allows you to see basically all the performance and availability metrics about all of the resources that you are currently running on your cloud. So Grafana, on the other hand, the visualization platform, open source, so absolutely free. You can visualize a lot of the data and even configure cool, very pretty looking dashboards and alerts. And uh, in this video, we'll talk like how can you integrate Grafana with Azure and see all the uh, Azure monitor metrics inside the Grafana and use them inside your dashboards for let's say more convenient visualization. So basically what we need to do is uh, we need to open our Grafana and I am running just absolutely empty installation on uh, my CentOS 7 machine just as a Docker container, nothing modified, it's absolutely default. So then we need to go into configuration and uh, data sources. This will be the place where we need to add a new data source and from all of the available options, we actually, yeah, we already found it, or you can just type it here, uh, Azure, and you will find Azure Monitor. Uh, you can change the name if you want, and uh, there are just three, uh, let's say, three three fields that you need to fill. One is for the Azure Monitor, second is for the Log Analytics, and uh, Application Insights. We won't be doing the Log Analytics and Application Insights right now, just to monitor. So basically this is all that we need. Directory tenant ID, application client ID, client secret that we'll have to configure, and then just choose the subscription. But if we don't follow um, a guide uh, which is available in uh, Microsoft documentation to which I will also leave the link in the description of this video then there is a chance that uh, this setup will not work because you will be lacking the permissions so what we need to do is uh, first of all we need uh, <clears throat> open this doc and make sure about the app registration so we must uh, grant the required permissions uh, check azure active directory permissions so if if you are the user who doesn't have the permissions to see that uh, information outside of the azure itself then you must have an admin permissions to actually assign this uh, then in the check azure subscription permissions in the subscriptions here, so I have a absolute uh, free uh, Azure tenant. I'm not paying for anything. It's just a trial version. So um, in 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 I can type here subscriptions. Uh, click on the free trial, and then there should be I think access control uh, subscriptions, internal testing subscription, and then uh, my permissions. So my permissions there it is you are an administrator of the subscription so i will definitely not have any issues with this configuration uh, then uh, my permissions click here to view okay and role assignments so i've actually created this uh, role assignment for the grafana and uh, i am the owner with just uh, some example naming and uh and the email address. Then what we need to do is register an application with Azure Active Directory and create a service principal. So again, just follow the simple steps, select Azure Active Directory. So we are going to the Azure, back to the home, Active, uh, Azure Active Directory. Then what's the next step? App registrations, app registrations and I also already created Grafana, but if you are creating a new one, there's also a very, uh, basically a screenshot on what you need to fill. So example app, uh, check this so that accounts in this organizational directory only Microsoft only single tenant. Uh, and uh, this is absolutely optional. So web and, and the web page, I actually don't have it in, uh, in my example. So if I would open, uh, where, where did it kick me out? <clears throat> so app registration, if I would open my Grafana, 
then I don't have uh, any uh, URL. So it, it, it's blank. Then what else? Like assign a role to the application. Then we need to go to the subscriptions, uh, select the subscription and access control. So this is that necessary step to actually uh, make um, Azure Monitor to work in the Grafana. Otherwise, uh, you can, of course, uh, easily in two minutes fill in the tenant ID, client ID, create a secret, and uh, it, it's not going to work simply because you don't have this uh, assigned a role to the application that we just created, Grafana, for our Grafana monitoring. So again, subscription. So we're going to the home, subscriptions, clicking on my free trial, uh, access control, and add role well i can click a view because i've already added it so normally you would have to go to add role assignment again it kicked me out so access control um, add role assignment and then we would select the contributor role uh, with this uh, default setting that you will see and here we will have to find our grafana app that we previously created in the active directory in the app registrations so we are assigning a role to our app that we just created and this app will be used for our grafana to populate all the information from the azure so that's basically the most uh, let's say the most complicated part of all this configuration so now we can really uh, go to our um, grafana app so active directory app registrations grafana and then just do the copy paste so tenant id click on a copy button tenant id paste application client id okay client id this and client secret we need to create it and we can create it here in the certificates and the secrets of course you can also use a certificate but a secret is much much faster so create a new one i will call it again grafana video expires let's say never click add and there we go so it is visible right now we can click copy and boom so this is basically all we need. So click load subscription and you see the default subscription also pops. So everything works and we can click save and test. Yes, uh, the log analytics and uh, the application insights will not work, but the Azure monitor does. And uh, again, the most important part in this is assign a role to your application add role assignment if you will not do that you can fill in the same fields as a tenant id client id and create a secret but it's not going to work uh, so save and test we did it and then we can start creating our dashboards like add a new panel and the uh, the most uh, like beautiful thing is when you're running some sort of the azure in the production you have like really a lot of the resources a lot of the resource groups and and network groups and uh, all of this stuff and it's hard to uh, not really manage but to remember like what you need to uh, add to your grafana dashboard and where to find it so i in this my um, trial azure subscription have basically only two resources uh, resources my resources uh, no I don't remember actually how I can see that so I have just one virtual machine and uh, one web application so I don't need to remember in which resource group it is I can just start clicking so resource group select and you see I already get all the possible options that I currently have in my uh, test tenant so let's say uh, test machine group namespace um no not this one so let's take another uh, grafana maybe namespace no so also not this one example web up grafana testing 
yeah, there we go. So virtual machines namespace. So then we know that there actually will be a virtual machine. Uh, resource name is a test VM. So let's open our Azure cloud and check inside the virtual machines so we can already see the test VM. But if I will go here to the virtual machines, so yes, there is one test VM which is uh, running a Linux Ubuntu, I think, and it, it's not doing anything. So just a clean virtual machine. I never even logged inside it, but I can still see it here. And then the metric namespace, let's say, yes, Microsoft Compute Virtual Machines and select what kind of metric do I want to display? Um, let's say... Um, I don't know, data disk, uh, write bytes, uh, second per view, um, nothing, premium, <coughs> yeah, so there was some, some little spike, like, um, what I'm trying to do, like, find some sort of the metric that will actually have some, uh, some data flaws on it, because since it's absolutely empty virtual machine, not doing anything, uh, mostly all the data is just uh, static with one value. So like this, and then we can utilize all the benefits of the Grafana in terms of like making it pretty, make it the bar or, or just a stat graph, uh, setting the override and changing uh, virtual machine monitoring. Um, yeah, save, save, cool. Let's say we want to add something else. Again, add a new panel, add a new panel, uh, Azure Monitor free trial, same resource group. Let's say uh, example web app, namespace again, uh, sites, uh, resource name. Uh, let's take a YouTube video one. I guess that's how I called it. Uh, Microsoft websites, metric. I guess there's no metric, no namespace, Microsoft websites, and then the metric, yeah, uh, like, uh, I don't know, CPU time, yeah, it's static zero seconds, again, because nothing is happening there, so operations per second, still nothing, data out, data in, memory working set, well, yeah, uh, response time, since there's nothing going on in this web application, that's why the data is uh, always same uh, bytes per second again. Handle count. Yeah, but uh, that's how it works. Like if you will configure this in the production, you will see, of course, the data and then you can again make it prettier uh, as per your needs. Create all the beautiful Grafana dashboards uh, that could look uh, quite pretty like uh, these examples, right? So all of this is possible to create inside of Grafana without any, um, without paying any money using the default uh, panels and default dashboards and uh, also integrating your Grafana with your Azure uh, tenant to populate all the information from the cloud inside of Grafana for like unified uh, data visualization. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this video. I hope that um, I will help somebody to actually start to monitor their cloud. And uh, don't forget to check the description for uh, this documentation page and uh, Microsoft documentation that basically goes step by step uh, what you really need to do aside from simply copy pasting the tenant ID and client ID to get this up and running. Um, that's about it for today. So if uh, if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and click the like button and we'll definitely see you in the next videos thank you guys uh, thank you for your time and goodbye